What is poppin' goons? Welcome back to another video and I just woke up and I wanted to make this quick video because I just saw this graphic that the Multiverses Brazil Twitter put together for us about the buffs and nerfs in version 1.0 and this was posted by the Multiverses Facts Twitter. Their Twitter is right here. Go give them a follow and the Multiverses Brazil page is going to be this one right here. So go ahead and give them a follow as well. They run this Multiverses Facts account. But getting into this amazing graphic that they made, we have the characters that got buffed. We have the characters that got nerfed. We have the explanations of the buffs and nerfs and we also have the fact that iron giant is finalized as well as underneath the buffs and nerfs it says beta progression is now permanent founders pack still does not have a definitive price so just some extra really useful info if you didn't know about it already but right now we're going to be going over the buffs and nerfs that we're going to be seeing in the open beta so starting off with the characters that received buffs we got batman buffs shaggy buffs superman buffs and jake buffs which i'm very excited about but i also see jake on the nerfs list so i haven't read through this buffs and nerfs list so we're going to discover these two together right now so the first buff is a batman buff and it says while in smoke batman and all allies ignore enemy projectiles that's really cool so when you're in smoke projectiles are completely useless against you that's that's lit next up we got another batman buff it says hitting with attacks while in smoke or one second after coming out of smoke will apply five stacks of weaken instead of one. Oh my gosh that's super lit and guys i play batman as a secondary character too so these batman buffs i'm excited for for this next one i'm pretty sure it's a batman buff it says up air 2 applies an electric dot for a few seconds and th that means just electric damage over time so he'll apply an electric status to you after up air 2 which is pretty cool and that's going to be it for the batman buffs getting into the shaggy buffs it says shaggy now starts with a sandwich with each life so that's really cool off rip he just starts off with a sandwich so the next shaggy buff it says shaggy ground attack has faster startup so now shaggy's stomp move that that comes out way faster i don't know how much faster but faster next up for shaggy it says shaggy down air special has armor now whoa shaggy down special in the air has armor i wonder if it always has armor or you have to be super saiyan i'm not sure but if it always does that's really good really really good that's gonna be it for shaggy buffs and this next buff is a jake buff and whoo just it's so simple but it sounds so sick already i cannot wait to for this open beta y'all i'm so excited it says jake's combo game is better did you hear me it says jake combos game is better better oh my goodness guys did you guys see the jake montage combo video i did that's gonna be even better now next up we have another jake change it says side air range is determined by how long you charge the attack that is a good change that's a really really good change that's a great way to balance the move so now it's not gonna go as far if i just throw it out right away it's probably just gonna be a little short inversion which is kind of cool because now they're probably not gonna get sent as far and if they're close i can just hit them with that and then combo them with something else the the gears are turning here guys and the last buff it says horses movement speed and recovery is slowed down a bit but on hit becomes a combo starter yes that's exactly what i was telling you to do thank you that's exactly what i wanted just like crag side b cancel into whatever i want that's gonna be so good because i was already kind of getting that as a combo starter it just needed to be like a little bit quicker or cancelable so i can jump out of it and then start a combo i cannot wait to get my hands on horse now i was really loving it in the in the closed alpha but now i can combo with it even better so i'm super excited also superman is on the buff list i don't know if any of these buffs apply to superman maybe the up air two no, Batman doesn't. I mean, Superman doesn't have an up air too. I don't think so. But that's going to be it for the buffs, I guess, because I don't think any of these apply to Superman. He might have just gotten a buff that we don't know about. Now, moving on to the nerfs. And the first name I see on the nerf list is already exciting. But the characters that we got nerfs for are Finn, Taz, Harley, and Jake. So this first nerf is going to be for Harley. And guys, we were all expecting Harley to get nerfed, obviously. But it says Harley has a longer recovery time when on the air, increasing her vulnerable time. Time. and remember this is translated from um, i believe portuguese to english because this is from the multiverses brazil account so some of these translations might not be exactly correct but it says harley has a longer recovery time when i think in the air increasing her vulnerable time so i think what that's getting at is that she's gonna have more lags on her move in the air or she's gonna be a little slower in the air somehow but overall it just says it's gonna leave her a little more vulnerable in the air so let's look out for that this next nerf is a jake nerf and it says when jake misses the hand bone break jake becomes vulnerable for a longer time and if you guys don't know what the hand bone break is the hand bone break is his jab attack so the one two three and if he misses the one two three he becomes more vulnerable so there's 
more lag at the end of it not my favorite change moving on to the next nerf it says finn can't cancel his combos and start another immediately after which is a good change finn had crazy combo game i just smacked my whole setup finn had crazy combo game if you guys played in the close alpha finn combos were wild they were wild he had a lot of cancelable moves he has the freaking the dash to the to the gem he's he's a wild character he needed to get touched a little bit and then last but not least we have a taz nerf and it says taz has better movement and some improvements but got nerfed in his ability to decrease knockback so kind of a a buff and a nerf at the same time so i'm assuming they lowered taz's knockback down like crazy because taz's knockback in the close alpha was ridiculous they made his movement better and they made other improvements somewhere so taz mains you got movement buffs and other improvement buffs in your gameplay i just don't know where but that's going to be it for all the buffs and nerfs for version 1.0 the open beta should be coming out any day now guys my my call my call on the date is going to be for the 15th me and bugs also have that same gut feeling that it's going to be on the 15th you know there's a lot of stuff coming out now that is kind of deterring me from the fact that it's going to come out on the 15th and maybe going to come out a little bit later i'm still rooting for the 15th i have a gut feeling guys i really do if you haven't seen my last video go check that out it's going to be on more characters coming to the open beta but besides iron giant because iron giants already finalized and we know based off of tony's tweets that he's working on another character that's smallish like a smallish kind of character and they're just kind of trying to wrap up his move set and all that so i can't wait to see what that character is going to be smallish character kind of points me in the direction of marvin the martian and if you guys have been paying attention to my channel we know that marvin is confirmed for this game based off of the cinematic trailer that they released or it also could be scooby because scooby is kind of smallish as well and is a name that we've been waiting for in this game forever we know he's coming as well but like imagine launching the open beta with iron giant and scooby like that would be so huge for them they would gain even so much more exposure and they don't even need it because they have so much exposure already but this game i'm telling you guys it's going to be amazing so i can't wait to play it subscribe to my channel if you like my multiverses content i'm almost at 500 subscribers and if i can hit that before the open beta comes out i might have something special planned for you guys so you never know hit that subscribe button and i might do a special video for you guys like the video if you feel like subscribing is just too much of a commitment i i completely understand that that. but if you like my content go ahead and scroll down a little bit hit the like button and that would help a lot as well too guys i would really appreciate any support you guys show on my channel comment down below what you guys want to see next and if you made it to this part of the video the secret phrase is superman buffs question mark so comment superman buffs question mark down below and maybe we'll figure out what the superman buffs are i don't know someone in the comment section will let us know what the buffs are and also it's kind of like our inside joke if you made it to this part of the video so i would appreciate that but that's enough rambling for me i've gone on enough i cannot wait for this game to come out and hopefully this gives you guys a little bit something to hold on to until it comes out i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out have a great day and bye